Hey, we back. I'm here with, I guess you could kind of say a robot, um, but this video is kind of interesting. I mean, that's debatable. Uh, but the point is, we're actually doing a new bot today. As you can see, I've been fiddling about with the reaction bot here, which is for a robot. Um, I've actually just invited it to this server, which I've used for demonstrations of stuff in the past. Uh, and I'm gonna draw your attention to it, I suppose we could say. Uh, this is a bot that I uh, didn't know about for the majority of my uh, Orobot career. To be fair, it probably didn't exist for the majority of my Orobot career. Um, but the past, I don't know, month or so, uh, we've been using it in my server pretty successfully. Um, and I thought, hey, why not make a quick video on it? Uh, now, disclaimer, I am by no means an expert on using this bot. I've used it very little in just the past month. So do not expect too much from me. Uh, I am liable to make all the mistakes and I am not going to go into this bot in depth. If you want more information on it, you know the best place I would say to ask? Um, if you want to join my server, there are some people on there that really do know how the bot works and uh, what I would do is I would ask them, so feel free to also do that. But anyway, this is a pretty useful bot. It has a lot of quality of life stuff. Uh, the first thing I would suggest you do is change its prefix because I don't know about you, but this exclamation mark R is the most obnoxious prefix I've ever seen in a bot. Like, it's Tatsumaki but backwards or something? Like, come on, what do you even call that? So yeah, I've changed my one to the little underscore here, and that's what we will be using um, today. Now I believe that we also need a space, which is also annoying. Oh, do you need a space? I don't know if you actually need the space. Anyway, I'm waffling. <sighs> the bot has a lot of very useful quality of life stuff. Most of it could be done with spreadsheets and stuff beforehand, but now you can do it within a robot, which is very epic and cool. Um, as it says here, we have the main commands, which is listed separately, uh, which are super helpful. Um, and we're going to be explaining what those are. So first of all, we have hunt on. Let's see what that one does. I know what it does, but do you know what it does? Well, we're about to find out. Hunt on. So what this is going to do is it's going to let you know when you can hunt, when you can battle. So let's say I just quickly do a, a hunt and a battle. Uh, we know now, as per whatever video from a couple of weeks ago, uh, that these both have a cooldown of 15 seconds. Argue with me in the comments if you like, it's 15 seconds. And then it's going to ping you, and it's going to tell you you can now hunt and battle. So now I know I can do it again, um, which is pretty damn helpful. Uh, because obviously, otherwise you'd need to be sitting and looking at a clock, counting down uh, how long the seconds have got. Pretty helpful. Uh, I believe there's a way to turn off the pings for this if you don't want pings and you just want the message. Um, I'm pretty sure that is something you can do, but again, I'm not an expert on this bot. I actually don't know how to do that. So uh, I would suggest having a look at the uh, the help thing yourself if you are wondering about something like that. Uh, now we also have the prey one. This is exactly the same. I'm not going to demonstrate that because the preys have a cool down of five minutes. Um, but yeah, there is a prey one, it's exactly the same. Uh, now I believe I know what these are, but let's test them out anyway and check. Yep, there we go, we've got the autoresponder for weapons. Now this is my favorite feature of this bot. I really do actually like this one. Uh, this is something that I used to use often on a spreadsheet. Uh, but let's say we take this random weapon here and we check it. What we're gonna see is that there we go. Uh, reaction bot is going to put underneath a separate percentage. Now, what does the percentage mean? This is the maximum quality that this weapon could get if it had a fabled passive. So, e.g., if you were re-rolling the weapon with passive re-rolls, this is the be best you can get. Now, as I've said in the past, passive re-rolls are generally the way to go. They are a lot easier to get the better weapons if you concentrate just on these stats here at the start, your uh, weapon cost and whatever's in the description. Uh, you concentrate on getting them to a high quality, then you can later come back and re-roll the passive to get fabled or near enough, um, and then you will end up with a really good uh, weapon. 
because the chance of you getting high on both of these is much lower than the chance of you getting the passive that you want. So, big brain. Anyway, the point is that that means you are going to need to be able to check what the maximum it, uh, the, the weapon can be when you reroll passive. This one can go all the way up to 80%, which is pretty good considering it's only a 50% weapon at the moment. Um, if we take something a bit higher up, for example, let's say a weapon that I've been using, uh, you'll see that the difference is much smaller. For example, this has quality 92% and mine is 92%. That is because I already have a fabled passive on this one. So you see it can't get any better unless of course I start re-rolling the stats. And then if I look at something that I uh, have uh, been pretty proud of recently, my bow, this one can go all the way up to 98%. Um, which I am very happy with, and I will probably passive re-roll it at some point. Um, but so far, we are keeping the stat re-roll gang just for the sake of it. So, yeah, I don't know, whatever. But that's pretty helpful. That's pretty good. Um, now, we've talked about the spreadsheet that you can do this with otherwise uh, on the channel before. It's pinned somewhere here, probably team help, actually, if we go and find it. Uh, there you go, passive reroll checker. Now what this is doing is basically the same thing as what Reaction Bot is doing. And this is what I've used in the past. It's what I've pointed you guys to in the past. Um, but yes, Reaction Bot, as you can see, a little bit faster there. Uh, now, if we have another look at Reaction Bot, we have another command here, uh, which is basically the same thing as far as I'm aware. Uh, I don't know what this stuff stands for, by the way, but you know. Uh, yeah, see, there we go. Autoresponder for shop weapons. Uh, like I say, this is basically the same thing, uh, but instead of the weapons uh, that you're checking uh, here like this, it's the weapons in the shop. So you see, we've checked the shop now, and this one can go up to here. This is pretty useful because, as I'm sure you're aware, uh, buying low quality weapons in the shop, re rolling them once, getting them up at high quality, and then uh, dismantling them is sometimes profitable. For example, with this one, this is a pretty high epic. Um, it's only going to cost you 63 shards, and if you're lucky, you could re-roll it once, and then get it up to Mythic, and then you make a profit. You would get, what, two re-rolls? Mythic sell for 300 shards. Should we try it? Should we try it, guys? Let's try it. Probably a waste of shards. Wait, actually, do I have enough shards? If I don't have enough shards, we're giving it up. Okay, never mind. I don't have enough shards. <laughs> My bad, I guess we won't. Um, oh well. Uh, but yeah, I could buy this weapon, re-roll it twice, uh, and still make a profit, as long as I got the mythic, right? Pretty nice. Uh, now the thing is, if we traverse through the shop here, it is going to tell us the uh, rarity, the max rarity, of every single thing in the shop. This one, this one looks really good. You could uh, re-roll this one to legendary, you'd get two attempts again. Uh, because I'm pretty sure legendaries dismantle for uh, uh, a thousand, so you could go up to 950. Um, but yeah, it's going to keep editing it. There you go. It's a bit slow that time, and uh, it'll tell you the max percentage. So if you want to go through the shop every day and check which ones you can reroll to get profit, uh, this is another great way of doing it. Like I say, I have apparently forgotten to have enough shards to demonstrate today, so sorry about that, I guess. Um, I think if you're actually trying to be smart and making a profit off shards, just a side tip here, um, yeah, it's probably good to actually keep about a thousand shards in stock and then be constantly buying dismantling stuff from the shop to make more of a profit. I guess it's a bit of an investment, you know? Um, I do think that probably would be smart, uh, but personally, I don't check the shop often enough, so it's not something that I would be doing. Uh, but it is in a similar way to gambling, uh, but it actually has a consistent profit that you can make as long as you're smart about it. So good gambling, as opposed to the normal OO gambling, which is not good. Anyway, moving on, because we're talking about Reaction Bot here, not gambling or anything else. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot of other commands here. Uh, for example, the stats. Stats are pretty good, as far as I'm aware. Wait, I'm not looking for help anymore. Let's just go for stats. Wait, is that actually the command? It's probably not, actually. Okay, <laughs> give me a command then. Give me a command. Uh, which is the one that I was looking for? 
Oh, we've got this one that requires reminders. Ah, yeah, this is the one that I was thinking of. Uh, right, so... Let's try this. Uh... <laughs> message ID is linked to the Overwatch Zoo message. Okay, here we go. Right, so I'm going to send my Zoo here. Then we're going to go for Reaction Bot. And... We want message ID. There we go. Uh, my zoo is split up into two, so we're going to go for a second message ID. And it says you can provide a channel, um, but we don't need to because it's in the same thing. So this should work. There you go. Big brain. Uh, and now I know how much my zoo is worth. Almost a million. Fantastic. Now you can also do this with the uh, zoo display, so I could find out my total. Okay, if it wants to not have a cooldown, perhaps. There you go. It's taken a while, isn't it? Here we go. And then I can send the IDs again. And there we go. Now I have my total zoo worth. It's a bit depressing. It's actually less than the amount of money I've got. Unbelievable. <laughs> anyway. Um... Yeah, so that's also pretty helpful. Stats stats is nice. Uh, and that was actually just one of the things in stats. I didn't realise there was more things in stats. What was the other things in stats? Should we have a look at them? Oh, one's going to tell me to cool down, I guess. Um, what were the other things in stats? We've got uh, find custom Patreon animals. Uh, view weapon stats. Oh, I said that that's instead of the autoresponder. There you go. See, there's plenty of things just in the stats category. What a useful bot this is. Where was, where's the help menu got <laughs> Here it is. Yeah, so reminders is helpful. Uh, stats is helpful. That is my opinion of this bot. But realistically, all of it is helpful. Well, probably other than fun. Fun's probably fun. Hunt bot visualizer. Should we give it a go? Go on, this is the last thing we're going to try. The last thing. Then we'll stop. How does command work? Uh, oh, visualize a fake hunt bot. Ah, yeah, I've seen this one. I've seen this one. Um... Alright, so what what are we doing for this? Oh, hunt bot count. Okay, let's say uh, a thousand. And uh, yeah, okay, radar level 50. Go on then. Uh, that, that, I don't think that was what I wanted. <laughs> Good. That was uh, talking about hunt bot reminders. Which is not what this says it is. Well, there you go then. I guess that command is just fake. That one doesn't exist. Yep, it's not, a, it's not even a command. I don't know. Like I said at the start, I'm not an expert at using this bot. <laughs> what I'd suggest you do, if you are interested, go and invite the bot to your server. I do recommend that. It is a good bot, even with my limited knowledge of it. I've successfully used the bot for multiple different things. Um, so yeah, invite the bot. Uh, shouldn't be hard to find. Just Google reaction bot. That's all it's called. It's got the little party thing, you know. Um, and have a look at the help page. See if you can figure a few things out. There are some very nice and cool things. Like I said, it's basically a quality of life bot. That's all it is, really. Um, everything that it can do, you can do with spreadsheets and, and other such things anyway. So it's not going to give you any advantage, if that's what you're hoping for. Uh, but it's still a nice bot. It's still one I would recommend. Now that I have used it for a bit, I'm allowed to recommend the bot. So that's good. Um, and one that perhaps I should figure out how to use a little bit better because this is clearly not working. <laughs> I don't know, if you feel like explaining what went wrong with this command, you're welcome to put that in the comments as well. Anyway, I will leave this one here. Bye!